Understanding Cultural Dimensions in Business Hello, learners! Welcome back to our series on English Language and Cultural Understanding. Today, we're diving deep into a significant aspect of business and workplace culture. Cultural Dimensions Why are they essential, and how can we apply them effectively? Let's find out! Cultural dimensions refer to the aspects of a culture that influence behavior, values, and beliefs. Dr. Geert Hofstede, a Dutch social psychologist, pioneered the research in this area. He identified several dimensions that differentiate cultures, especially in the business context. Understanding these can help us navigate international business scenarios better. Here are some of the most recognized dimensions. Power distance. This relates to how a society handles inequalities among its members. High power distance cultures tend to accept hierarchical order, while low power distance cultures aim for equal distribution of power. Individualism versus collectivism. This dimension looks at whether people prefer to act as individuals or as part of groups. Uncertainty avoidance. It's about how comfortable a culture is with uncertainty and ambiguity. Some cultures embrace it, while others try to minimize it. Masculinity versus femininity. Here, masculinity refers to societies that favor achievement, heroism, and assertiveness. Femininity represents cultures that value cooperation, modesty, and caring for others. Knowing these dimensions is just the first step. Applying them in the workplace is where the real challenge and opportunity lie. Communication styles. Recognizing whether you're dealing with a high or low context culture can prevent misunderstandings. High context cultures rely on implicit communication, where most of the message is understood through context, body language, or past relationships. Low context cultures prefer explicit communication, with direct and clear messages. Meetings and negotiations. In high power distance cultures, decisions are typically made by the highest ranking individuals, so it's essential to identify and approach those key decision makers. Meanwhile, in low power distance cultures, decisions might be made collectively. Feedback and recognition. Cultures with high uncertainty avoidance might prefer regular feedback, while high masculine cultures might value public recognition and rewards. While these dimensions offer guidelines, remember, every individual is unique. Stereotyping based on cultural dimensions can be counterproductive. Instead, Use them as a starting point and be prepared to adapt and learn as you interact with individuals from various cultures. Understanding and applying cultural dimensions can unlock successful business interactions and enrich our workplace experiences. We hope this video has shed light on the significance of cultural dimensions and equipped you with practical insights. Remember, the key lies in being observant, open-minded, and adaptable. Happy learning!